In these video series, we're going to talk about multi-parameters in Melder Production plugins, how to use them, and how to build custom user interfaces with them. Multi-parameters have originally been developed just to control multiple parameters, hence the name. So uh, they were basically macro controls, but since then they've become a serious tool that can speed up your mixing workflow, provide lots of creative possibilities, and even let you build your own plugins in a way. Multi-parameters are available in most Melder plugins, where it makes sense. In some, there are just a few of them, like in M Equalizer, or many of them, like here in M Auto Dynamic EQ. To start using multi-parameters, right-click on one, or click on the menu icon, and select Learn. The multi-parameter now indicates recording and you can touch anything in the plugin. It'll remember what you've touched, including the range. Note, some parameters cannot be attached, but almost everything can. So let me move a few bands and a few parameters. To stop recording, simply click on the multi-parameter button. Now, let's move the multi-parameter itself. See? Everything I touch is moving with it. A macro control. Nothing fancy yet, but still useful. For what? Let me show you a few examples and introduce some more features on the way. Let's stick with M Auto Dynamic EQ. Listen to this snare drum. It resonates a lot. I use the Automatic Equalizer's Remove Resonances feature to get rid of the resonances. But I feel it may be killing too much of them. Perhaps the Q should be narrower, but there are so many of them. So a multi-parameter is here to save me. Right click on it, start learning, Move all cues from minimum to maximum. Stop recording. Now I can change all of them at once and easily audition the effect. I like this chorus sound I made using M Chorus MB. Single band, nothing complicated. But I'm not sure about the rate. Maybe I will even automate it. The problem is, whenever I increase the rate, I also need to lower the range. Otherwise it sounds too honky tonky. So, I learned both the rate and range. But now it does the opposite of what I want. Increasing rate increases range too. That makes it even more brutal. It's time to open the multi-parameter editor by clicking on it. Scary stuff? Not really. First, I'll collapse the behavior and appearance panels since we don't need them for now. All that's left is the list of parameters. So I'll just select the range and invert what it does by enabling invert. And voila, I have a custom rate control, which decreases range with increasing rate, making the chorus sound great in all settings.
Let's get creative a bit and use M Wave Shaper MB. Again, simple single band stuff. I just created sort of teeth like graph with eight points. Now, if I'd like to automate the shape, that would be a problem because the points are not available to the DAW for automation. And I want to do something more creative, anyways. So let me learn the positions of the six points in the middle from top to bottom. Stop learning and move the multi parameter. Not exactly useful. I just created a horizontal line. I want teeth, and I also don't want the multi parameter to change the horizontal positions. Time to fix all that. Click on the multi parameter to open the editor. First, I delete all the X parameters since I only want the points move vertically. Select each and click the delete button. And then I invert every other Y coordinate. And voila, teeth going up and down. Easy to use and can be automated. Time for some boring GUI stuff. So what else is in the multi-parameter menu? First, there are three learn methods. Learn and clear and learn are nearly the same, except clear and learn first removes all parameters currently associated to the multi-parameter. Quick learn is different. It lets you touch a single parameter and it learns that one, including its name and values. It's useful if you want to automate a certain parameter which is not available for automation directly, for example. Reset multi-parameter removes all associated parameters, name, and just about every setting that multi-parameter has. Reset all multi-parameters does the same thing to all multi-parameters. A very dangerous thing, but don't worry. A confirmation window will appear first. Attach MIDI controller lets you quickly attach the multi parameter to your MIDI controller. Just click it, then touch the MIDI controller. Done. It does that simply by opening the MIDI settings, attaching an empty controller to that multi parameter, and activating MIDI Learn. Manager is a beautiful feature, which lets you do various stuff to the multi parameters, such as reorder them, group them, reset a selection of them, and so on. You'll definitely like this once you get to creating some user interfaces using multi parameters. A few more self explanatory features are also present in the menu. Time to check the multi parameter settings in more detail. Let me keep the behavior and appearance panels collapsed for now. The parameter list is pretty self explanatory. The plus button lets you add some parameters manually. It shows a tree with all parameters available by the plugin. In modular B's such as MXXX or M Sound Factory, this may be quite a tree. So learning is almost always faster. You already know the delete button. The arrows let you reorder the associated parameters just for the sake of keeping things tidy. And make first button moves the selected parameter to the beginning of the list. Why? We'll get there. On the right, there are properties of the selected parameter. If you want to select a different parameter, you can either double click on it or click on the button on the right where the full name is displayed. If the name is too complex, like this one I have in MXXX1, you can name it below. Just to make a note, it isn't used anywhere though. Finally, below there's the range of the parameter values. By default, interval range mode is selected, which means that target parameter values go from value to max. Max can be lower than the value, by the way.
other options can be useful too. For example, range mode up and down makes the parameter go from value upwards and downwards by depth, so the value is the center. In some cases, this is easier to use. We'll get there. You already know invert. It just swaps the minimum and maximum, whichever the range mode is. Use first parameters range makes the parameter use the same range the first parameter has and is useful mainly for lazy people. Final cherry on top is the transformation shape below. There you can transform the values any way you like. An example is worth a thousand words. So check this out. That's all for now. See you next time.